how to look ahead. Let's look at this in our general terms, how we would look at it. First, we'd notice our function u. So u equals negative x squared. De take the derivative. We're going to get a negative 2x dx. But there's a problem here. We have our extra x, which that's good. But we have a 5 here, and this is a negative 2. right? So we need to be able to see, well, what should I multiply by then to give me a negative 5 halves? Now, there's a couple ways you could do that. You could rewrite this as a negative 5 halves du equals x dx. Do you guys agree with that? Mm -hmm. Or the other way you could do it, which I was showing, is you could also multiply by a 5, or sorry, factor, take the 5 out. And then to say, what would I need to multiply then this by? I just need to, or you could say this as a negative 1 half du dx. And then you take it, then you replace that back out again. Does that make sense? Or do you guys, no, I think I may be just confused. Is everybody OK with understanding my fraction? All right, we'll just stick with that. I don't want to overly confuse people. So let's just, if, as long as everybody's OK with your negative 2, multiplying it by negative 5 halves to give you that. <sighs> then that's going to go on the outside. And we're going to have e to the u du. And then obviously, ladies and gentlemen, to integrate, we're just going to be left with e to the u. And then we can plug in our e to the x. So our final answer is negative 5 halves e to the negative x squared plus c. Okay.